friend today we are going to learn a topic from hydrology for civil engineering students the topic uh, name is like depth area duration relationship so here uh, what we are going to see so basically depth area duration curves look something like this in the x axis we have area and in the y axis we have depth of rainfall uh, which are average depth and something like this we have curves which are for different durations like this curve is for one hour this curve is for six hours this curve is for 18 hours so how we plot the uh, depth area duration curves so how we plot DAD curves so for this we know that uh, we have rain gauges for taking the measurement of rainfall which gives us a point data but we want to convert this point data into a real time data so how we do it so we do it by if we have a area like this then from the rain gauges we prepare isohydes isohydes are basically lines of equal precipitation so like we have isohyde number one two three and there is area in between the isohydes like a1 a2 a3 this is a naught so what we do so we took the average so average of isohyde 1 and 2 this will give us the average rainfall in area a1 so this will give us a uh, so what we what we know is like that the precipitation uh, in the that particular area so from that precipitation we are going to calculate the volume of precipitation in the particular area which we can get as a1 into the precipitation average which we have taken from the iso heights so and this then next what we are going to do we are going to take two things first one is cumulative cumulative volume of uh, rainfall and next thing is we are going to take cumulative area and uh, as we divide cumulative volume by cumulative area we will get average precipitation in that particular area so 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 like we have areas a1 a2 a3 and they are like precipitation p1 p2 p3 so what we are going to do and this we have selected for a specific duration like one hour six hours 18 hours etc so what we uh, so what we do we plot it on a graph to get a better understanding so on a x axis we have area so it is cumulative and on the y axis we have we have depth okay so here 
like for one hour view plot this is like we will get curve similar to this like then for we plot for six hours then we will get curve something similar to this and if we plot for uh, some more duration we will get um, curve similar to this so what can point of conclusions we can draw from this conclusions which we can draw and which are very important to know because uh, if we don't know the conclusions then we, we will not able to answer the questions in the examination so from the uh, mpsc point of view it is very important so first conclusion which we are able to draw from this dad curve is like that as the area increases as area increases depth decreases as area increases depth decreases then the what second conclusion we can draw as duration as duration increases the precipitation also increases so these are the two main conclusions which we have drawn from this and the third one is the shape of curve so here we can see that the shape of the curve is like it is concave downwards means it is facing x axis con uh, concave downwards or you can say it is convex upwards so on this three topics there are huge chances that mpsc might ask a question thank you